Hey everybody, it's Christy with Christy Cole Artistry or C. Cole Artistry. Tonight I am going to be doing a test run on two 9 by 12 canvases for a uh, customer who would like to um, have me make a larger picture. But we weren't really sure on the grays and the teal, so I'm going to make her two paintings that I can text the pictures to her then she can decide which of the color palette she prefers. So let me get the canvases prepared and then I'll bring you down in the cabins and I'll show you the color scheme. Just a moment. Hi, I'm back. Um, I have covered my canvases with my Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White with mixed with Floetrol and water. And um, now I'm going to pop the bubbles to make sure that all of the bubbles in the base layer are popped so that they don't come up later. Okay, and now I'm going to show you the color palette. So for this um, canvas, we are going to be using um, these four blues and all four of these colors. So here are the colors. I am going to use um, Walmart's Apple Barrel Blue Bonnet because it's a beautiful color and I can't find it in anything else. I'm also going to use Apple Barrel Cloudless. Very pretty. Um, these, the Apple Barrels are both mixed um, with 50-50 paint and Floetrol. The rest of my paints are mixed with water and Floetrol with the paint. This one is um, Liquitex Basic Phalo Blue. It's Phalo Sienna, but it's Phalo Blue. Um, this one is Master Touch Ocean Green, really pretty color to go with this palette. Then I'm going to put a, just a touch of Artist Loft Titanium White. Um, still debating about the silver, but um, this is a metallic silver, so I'm hoping that it'll create some cells in here. She wanted gold, so we're going to use 24 karat gold, which is beautiful. This is uh, my um, Deco Art 24 karat gold. Then, I may or may not in this palette um, add this color, which is my Liquitec Basics um, Prussian Blue, but it definitely will go on the second canvas over here, so it'll be Prussian Blue, it'll be Art Deco Metallic um, Aquamarine, then we're going to add some Folk Art Payne's Gray, and I'm also going to try this one I just bought, which is Deco Art Peacock Pearl. This should be beautiful in there. And then last, we're going to put in some Liquitec Basic Blue-Gray. This color palette will, again, also include the gold for sure. Not sure about the silver yet. Um, and then the titanium white, just for a little spark. So we're going to start with this canvas. And she wanted a design that... I'm going to move these out of the way so you can see. She wanted a design um, that will go from top and around the corner like this. I had done a picture, um, a painting, excuse me, that's on my website that she really liked called um, Pink Floral. And she just wanted to see what it would look like in the um, blues and gold and silvers. So let's start with that. And then the second painting, of course, is going to be these colors. And I'm going to put them in the order that I plan on putting them on. So let's start. So we're going to start with Blue Bonnet. Blue Bonnet, like I said, is a beautiful, I like it. It's a really pretty color from just a, a Walmart cheap brand, but it really, I think it really looks nice. So we're just gonna do a little design like that. And I've already spilled. So let's we'll clean that off. Boy, shook it everywhere. Okay, there. And then next we're gonna use just a little bit of the Apple Barrel Cloudless. color that really goes well with, with this color. I'm just going to try to just a little bit like that. Because we're going to blow it out anyway. Then we're going to put in the phalo blue. Phalo blue is a beautiful dark color. So we're just going to put that in. And, and then we are going to put in a little bit of the gold now decide about the silver. I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of gold on there. And then the Master Touch Ocean Green. Again, I love these colors. 
colors together. They're so pretty. I think on this one, I am going to skip the silver and I'm just going to put a little bit of white just to break up the blues. Okay. Then on this side, we're going to go ahead because I'm going to blow them out together. Um, this side, we are going to start with I'm gonna start with peacock pearl. I'm gonna mix these up a little bit from what I had them. So I'm gonna start with peacock pearl, same design. Um, and again, this is an experiment to show her the colors that she thought she would like to go um, together. And then we're gonna do the Liquid Tech Basics, Basics Prussian Blue, which is so pretty. It's dark, it's beautiful. Okay, and then I'm gonna put the gold in now. I don't want a lot, I don't want it to take over, so I'm just going to put a little bit. And then we're going to go with Kane's Gray, because I like it, and I think it'll go nice with this. Um, she did send me a picture of the carpet that she had purchased, a rug, um, and the, that's where we got the inspiration for doing this picture. So. Hopefully one of the two will match um, what she's looking for. If not, we can kind of mix it up and, and um, figure it out from there. So this is the uh, blue-gray, which I just purchased too. Um, I had seen a few other <coughs> artists use the blue-gray and I thought it really looked nice. Now I'm going to do the white. And again, just going to put a little bit of white in there. And in this one, I am going to try the silver uh, because she did want silver and gold. I don't know that with the lighter colors, the silver and gold, I think it'd be too much. But on um, this, okay, this, oh, this is my pearl, sorry. Uh, here's my silver. Okay, so this is my silver. It's um, metallic silver. Okay, so let's just put a little bit there. We're already going over the edge, which is fine because most of it's going to go that way anyway. All right, so now we're going to blow it out. See what we get. I love the, the Prussian blue in here. It is gorgeous. Um, the light blues, I know I blew off a lot of that, but it's still really pretty this way. Um, so what I think, oh, the cells that are forming here are gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna fix my sides and then um, um, I'll see if I need to fiddle with anything and I will be right back with you. Okay, you guys, I'm back. Um, I, I cleaned up the sides a little bit, and then I wanted to show you up close. Look at these gorgeous cells. Oh my goodness. This one is coming out so pretty. I hope she likes this one. It's just amazing. Just a little bit of the gold paint and, and the metallics made this. Here's one of the spots. Look at this. It's just gorgeous. That's that Prussian blue and the gold. Oh, it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to pull you back so you can see the whole thing. And again, these are on a 12 by 9, so they're rather small. But I can just imagine this on a 20 by 40 picture. It's going to be absolutely gorgeous. So that's the first one. Or excuse me, that's the second one we did. Here is the first one. And this one is just as pretty. So I'm going to bring you in because you can't see the shimmer and shine. So I'm going to try to bring you in so you can see the shimmer and the cells that came out. It's just gorgeous. So either of these will be absolutely beautiful in a larger painting. And I am going to let these dry. And then I am going to send her 
several pictures and let her decide which of the color palettes she prefers. And then I will get busy on that commission piece. Um, these will probably get either a coat of uh, two coats of varnish or I may resin them. I'm uh, learning resin so it takes me a little bit longer but I may just varnish these because they're so pretty with the shimmer anyway right now. So if anyone's interested in them, once they are dry, they will be up on my website at um, tt, what is it, https colon backslash backslash www dot uh, cc coal or c c o l e artistry dot com. So there you go. I think that one is just beautiful. Just beautiful. But they're both really pretty. I guess it's the difference between the darks and the lights. So whichever you prefer, light or dark. But yeah, they just came out gorgeous. So that's all I have for today. Oh, one reminder. Um, when you are doing your paintings, please remember to scrape the underneath of your paintings with a popsicle stick, if you're doing them, so that these drips that are under here don't drag all that beautiful paint down onto your um, cloth. It will continue to drag until um, it has a chance to uh, settle down. So what I do is, um, I do what's recommended. I will scrape them now and I will wait 10-15 minutes and I will scrape them again and then I will go back and if I have to or if I see the drips continue I will scrape them again. After that they should be settled enough that they will be dry or not dry but they will be settled enough that they shouldn't um, continue to slide off the, the canvas as you can see that they're doing right here and we don't want that to happen. So just a reminder if anyone has any questions or comments you can comment on my website or you can reach me at uh, C. Cole Artistry at gmail.com. Thank you. Have a great night. Bye. Okay, so I've scraped the sides. I'm going to let them dry. Um, if you have any comments, please visit my website and um, look through my inventory that's on there. It, again, if you like these paintings, they'll be available on the website um, after they've dried and been, and been sealed. Um, I do thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Bye.